Welcome to Marvelous Designer Tutorial Series. Box Stitched Mattress Protector For those using 9.5 and up, we have grouped more tools for a cleaner user interface. Please, long press the left mouse button on the tool to view a list of all the tools in the tool group. In this course, we will make Box Stitched Mattress Protector. First open mattress cover, the ZPRJ file. The file can be downloaded from the link in the description. Select unnecessary objects and deactivate them to hide. Create a square pattern based on the shadow width of the mattress. Press the number 5 key on the 3D window to switch to the top view. Tap the Pattern Gizmos Direct Positioning icon and place it on the mattress. Correct the length of the pattern by referring to the size of the mattress in the 3D window. I'll create the Grid Pattern Padding on Protector. Select the lower and upper lines of the pattern and right-click to select the offset as internal line along Curve menu. Adjust the number of offsets depends on the size of the desired grid. Select both left and right lines and create internal lines. Select the Layer Clone Over Menu to make two layers. Apply the pressure of the upper pattern to 20, and the pressure of the lower pattern to negative 20. The more padding lines, the higher the pressure value is required. If the number of the padding line is smaller, it will puff up even if the pressure value is low. But when the padding line is tight, you would need to increase the value. Freeze the mattress cover pattern and simulate it. The particle distance is too large, it may not puff up well, even if you increase the pressure value. Reduce the particle distance to 10. Change the pressure value to 30 and negative 30. If you simulate, you can see that it puffs up more. After selecting one of the patterns, Apply elastic value 98% to the entire line. The pattern will wrinkle naturally if you give a slight elastic value to a pattern. Now, let's make a band that hold the protector on the mattress. Create a rectangular band pattern with the rectangle tool. After move the pattern on the protector, create an internal line to create a folding line. Move both endpoints to make them parallel to the horizontal and vertical axis.
After placing them in the 3D window, fold the pattern along the fold line with the Fold Arrangement tool. Sew Protector and Band in the 3D window with the Free Sewing tool. Double click to finish the free sewing in the 3D window. Rotate the band pattern around the x-axis for easier editing in the 2D window. Tack the bottom part of band pattern so that it is not pushed out of the mattress. Before creating other bands, fix the position of protector and freeze it. After selecting the band pattern, press Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus R to duplicate the pattern. Control plus C, Control plus V, the two band patterns to create the upper band pattern. After placing it in the 3D window, sew the patterns together. Since the normal direction of the bands is on the back side, flip the normal direction with Flip Normal Tool. The Latisse protector is done.
Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more. If you have any questions about getting started in Marvelous Designer or this lesson, please leave a comment below and we will do our best to answer your question. If you want more information on and where to get Marvelous Designer, check out our website, forum, and official Discord channel in the link below.